Hello, hello, it's Carly and welcome to or back to my channel. Today I'm sharing with you guys 25 productive things to do while you have time at home. The first thing is to create a vision board. I recently made one on my computer through PicMonkey and made it my computer background. Every time I open up my computer, I'm just so happy and it makes me hopeful and motivated to get my days going to reach for my visions and what I look for in the future. The second thing is to sell your clothes. I've been listing a bunch of stuff on my Poshmark I always do but lately since I've had time I've really been going through everything clearing it out and selling it all so I've been able to make some extra bucks at a time where I personally have a small business and it is pretty unfortunate at this time but I'm finding other ways to make an income during this time go through your emails and unsubscribe from a bunch of them get rid of all the ones that you just get annoyed when they get into your mailbox they might come every day weekly monthly whatever it is clear out your mailbox so that you really only get notifications when you need to organize now is the time to do it I've organized all of my drawers in my kitchen, in my bathroom, in my bedroom, and honestly, it has just made me so much more put together every single day. Clean your makeup brushes. This is something people put aside all the time. I actually have this thing that I got from Amazon. It's just a little silicone that you put at the bottom of your sink and you clean your brushes. It's so easy. I will link this below as well as anything else I might mention in this video. It made my life so easy and I've been able to do it so frequently during this time because I can. Start journaling if you haven't already. I actually just mentioned the five minute journal in my current favorites while at home that I posted a few days ago. Today's different because it's just actions to take while you're at home. But I love this. I only started this a few weeks ago and it is amazing and it really is perfect for somebody like me who's a beginner at journaling and I love it. Cleanse your computer. Go through your computer, get rid of any old documents or photos or doubles, whatever it is. Go through it, clear up some space, put some on a hard drive. I actually just did this the other day. Went through and put all of my old pictures and videos from trips and stuff on a hard drive. That way I had some storage in my computer. Cleanse your phone, go through it. I actually just did this the other day as well and I put all my photos airdrop them to my computer and then put them on hard drive. That way I stop getting notifications that my iCloud is full. Play games. Things like Sudoku, crosswords, backgammon, they make your mind think so they're actually really good for your mental health and for your memory when you get older. We personally love backgammon, that is our favorite. If you have an outdoor space, use it. We are so lucky that we have a backyard in our new place and I've been bringing my computer outside, sitting outside in our new patio furniture and doing my work out there. It's so important for your mental health to get a breath of fresh air and just feel so nice. You could paint your nails if you're like me. I had gel and I actually had the powder dip and the other day I took it off myself, I soaked it, I used the aluminum foil and all, and I actually painted my own nails. I used the Sally Hansen Ultimate Shield Base and Top Coat, and then I got this new Essie color, which is actually a treat, love, and color. So some new line that they have that actually strengthens your nails, and I got it in the color Daily Hustle. I'm not very good at it, but it is this very pretty lilac, and I'm obsessed with it. YouTube at-home workouts. I've been doing this sometimes when I feel like it. I'm going to be honest, I do not do it very frequently. However, if I am motivated to work out, I just go on YouTube and search ab workout routine, butt workout routine, arm workout routine, and it is so easy because there are so many, so you could pick any type that you want to do. FaceTime your friends. On Saturday nights, I've actually been FaceTiming my friends and we've been having virtual happy hours. I'm sure you've seen people doing this before, but it's so nice to see your friends, have a glass of wine, catch up, talk about life, talk about what's going on. It feels so nice to just actually have conversation with people again. Clean your doorknobs, please. Make TikToks if you have not done so already. Honestly, get on it. It is so fun. I personally love dance. I love fashion. I love videos. So putting it all together, honestly, it's so fun. You can learn a new language. There's apps like Duolingo that you download for free and you could learn whatever you want. I've actually done a lot of the Spanish curriculum on there already because I love that language. So I'm probably going to re-download that tonight because I really have been wanting to get back on that. Treat your skin. I've been taking time every morning and night to have a real skincare routine 
and my face has been in the best condition it's ever been. Go through your fridge and your pantry. I don't know about you, but oftentimes I find an apple that I bought a week or two ago that is no longer good. Get rid of all that expired stuff, sauces, cookies that were in the back of your pantry, whatever it is, just get rid of it. Make a list of pros of this situation. I had to do this the other day because like I said, I have a small business and this is really hard for me right now and other people, this is very hard for them in other ways, whether it's affecting their family, their finances, whatever it is, but I just needed to look at light of this situation, things that I'm grateful for, things that I now can do, like make more YouTube videos because I have the time. So go through, make a list, write them down of things that actually are great that can come out of this situation. Tie-dye, I've actually been doing this at this moment. I have some clothes soaking in dye. I took two things that are see-through and white that I wouldn't really wear in public and I tie-dyed them. I will link the dye that I got below, but I'm having so much fun with this and I cannot wait to see how they turned out. Read, my Kindle has became my best friend in being there when I am bored and I feel like I need to be doing something productive. I take this out, I take out a book that I know that I'm learning from and it's just been making me feel so much better about myself. Go through your junk drawers, your tech drawers, throw anything out that you really don't use anymore. Go through your makeup and get rid of anything that is expired. They actually have little logos on them, sometimes on the side or the bottom, that say either 6M, 12M, or 18M, and really look at those and throw out anything that is old because it might be very damaging to your skin. Experiment with new makeup, new hairstyles, new routines, whether it's in the morning or at night. Take this time to really find what works for you, things you like. And lastly, check in on your friends. Everybody's in a different situation right now, whether they're still working an essential job or at home, make sure everybody's okay. That is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up, comment below, and subscribe so I can see you guys in my next video. Love y'all.